Well, the 3.0 model of leadership is, is really our way of looking at what does it really mean to lead and what are the things we need to be focused on to do it. And if you think about it, here are the three O's. The three O's are outcomes, others, and ourselves. Let me just talk, we'll just talk about those a little bit. So the first one is we are leading to reach a desired outcome. There's something that we're trying to achieve and if if the world we had around us was perfect, we wouldn't even need a leader. We're leading to move to a place that's not where we are, that's better, more desirable, and that could be any number of things. You might call it mission, vision, you might call it purpose, you might call it a goal, you might call it a strategic initiative, whatever it is. We're moving to someplace else, outcomes. Well, and if I may, that's sometimes where people stop, right? It's all about the work. And that's where work becomes very transactional. You hit your goal, you didn't hit your goal. I did what I was supposed to do or I didn't get off my back. You know, it's, right. but we know, right, that it's about getting the work done. So we're all pretty comfortable with the idea that it's about outcomes. But it's about more than outcomes, right? And the second O is about others. So uh, <clears throat> when we do exercises, we talk to people about leadership, it always ends up being about things we're doing in and through and with other people, those that we lead. And so we have a responsibility as a leader to reach outcomes, to your point, Wayne, through the use and through the help of and the supporting of other people. So our, our focus as a leader should be on outcomes, of course, and on others and all what we must do to support them in being successful because we're not going to get there by ourselves. But that, well, so here's and, the interesting thing. Oh, go ahead. Oh, and this is the part where working remotely tends to be least comfortable because we're used to dealing face-to-face. -face. We're used to dealing with people. We're not used to dealing intermediated by technology and not knowing what's going on. And so if we look at what's most different in this model, here's where a lot of the changed behavior and the stuff we have to think about comes from. Yeah, it really does. And then the third O is ourselves. And I like to say to people, listen, leadership isn't about us. It's about outcomes and others. And yet at the center of our model, it is ourselves because we're a part of everything that happens in relationship to the other two. And in our research for the long distance leader, what we found is that a lot of the success or a lot of the stuff that's getting done is happening at the expense of the leaders. We're working longer hours, we're working harder, we're less sure of what we're doing uh, because we've got to be on a conference call with Boston at eight in the morning and Singapore at nine o'clock at night. We're not taking care of ourselves. We're working longer hours, we're stressed, we're 24 seven attached to our email and, and things like that. And so one of the really important parts of this model is even though we're good servant leaders and we want to if we serve are. the organ <laughs> if we want to serve the organization we have to focus on ourselves our actions setting boundaries for ourselves in order to be at our best so that we can serve and work with others so that we can achieve the outcomes. outcomes. And you know what the thing is, if we're if you're going 24/7, if you're if you're doing all the things that Wayne just described as a leader um, and you think that's not impacting the way you're leading, you're just fooling yourself. And so not only do we have to do all think about all the things you just said Wayne for ourselves and our own sanity and our own health, but all of those things are impacting the way in which we lead and how short we are in our communications with others and how stressed we are We are making others because we're stressed because they're paying attention. Like they're watching us all the time, even Absolutely. if we are at a distance. So when we talk about the 3-0 model of leadership, we're thinking about all three of those things and how important each of them are. Outcomes, others, and ourselves.